Buying, selling, and trading are three huge things in the collector world. Let's talk about it. Recently, we had a scammer in the Gasocast We Hunt Together group, which prompted this video. We try really, really, really hard to keep our group clean and free from nonsense, but sometimes people can slip through the cracks. We had somebody enter the group, make a deal with somebody, and take their money. Then they blocked the person once they got the money, and they left the Gasocast We Hunt Together group. And never sent the person their item. What a crock of sh**. Heather and I created the Gasocast We Hunt Together group to be different than all other collectible groups on Facebook. We wanted to be free of the flipping. We wanted to avoid negativity. And most importantly, to follow the Gasocast motto, which is we hunt together. And that's helping your fellow collector obtain the collectibles that they're looking for without flipping and all the negativity and crap. And 99% of the time, our group really, really holds true to all of that. We wanted to outline how to buy, sell, and trade successfully and securely. Hey guys, head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out the ways that you can support the channel. We have three different tiers, tier one, tier two, and tier three. But I'm just gonna talk about tier three because it's the best tier on Gasocast Patreon. Tier three includes a live chat with the Gasocast one Saturday per month that also comes with an amazing giveaway. The giveaway will include this awesome art series He-Man. He is dope. Level three members will also get a thank you at the end of every single Gasocast video. Head over to patreon.com slash Gasocast to check it all out. A lot of the times, new collectors come into the world of Funko and other toys and find themselves wanting to buy, sell, or possibly trade in some of these Facebook groups and all sorts of other social media areas. And most of the time when they come in, they pretty much trust everybody. They hope that the person that they're trading, buying, or selling to is going to be just as fair as they are. But that's not always the case. There's a lot of people out there doing really crappy things and being very nefarious. But there are ways for you to avoid that. There's something very important when it comes to being in a Facebook group. One, you wanna make sure that somebody has really good feedback. And if a person doesn't have feedback, how can you trust them? And in the Gasocast We Hunt Together group, that is no different from any other group. We do have a feedback post where you can go and look to see, okay, this person has some good feedback. They've traded with somebody or sold something to somebody before. So if they're not on a feedback thread anywhere, this is when you ask them to give you a couple of people who can vouch for you. Or you could also post in that group and say, hey, has anyone traded or bought from this person before? Boom, and there you go. That's how you gain a little bit more confidence around the situation you're about to get yourself into. The one thing that bums me out the most is that people are selling to each other friends and family on PayPal. This is something that you do not do if you do not know who the person is. Heather and I know each other. We're married. So if we were to use PayPal together and I'm buying something from her or vice versa, obviously it'll be friends and family. If it's my best friend that I've known for years, of course, friends and family works there too. Or maybe my grandmother wants a new Abominable Toys Chomp. Or maybe she really likes that glow-in-the-dark Marty McFly Funko Pop. No deal for you, Grandma. Give me $350. I have no issue doing friends and family with someone who I've traded with many, many times before. Absolutely. Now, that is another case also. If it's somebody that you know through collecting, through trading, through selling and buying, you've done it time and time again, of course you're going to trust them. Goods and services on PayPal gives you the buyer protection that you need. They guarantee that if something goes south, you get your money back. Family and friends does not have this, so don't use it unless you know them. Same with all the other apps, Zelle, Cash App, what are the other ones? I don't know, I, I only use PayPal personally. Just use PayPal goods and services, that way you're protected. And that's another warning sign. If someone that you've never dealt with before requests that you use friends and family, don't do it. There was a time that Heather and I were juniors when it came to collecting, and we actually made a trade with somebody at one point. I sent the items out to the person thinking everything was okay, but it turned out it wasn't okay at all. About a week later, I was asking where my items were, and this person basically told me, hey, you're gonna have to wait, and I think maybe their uncle died four or five times. <laughs> 
Eventually, the person messaged me back and said they were tired of me asking about the items that they hadn't sent yet. What? I mean, how does that make any sense? I'm worried about the things that I've traded for. I'm sorry, but I want to know where my stuff's at. Exactly, especially if you're trading items to them and they got it. Well, months later, way down the road, this same person wanted something that Heather had up for trade in another group. When Heather realized and put two and two together, that's when hilarity ensued. This person wanted to trade. They didn't have anything that I was interested in, so I said, nah, I'm not worried about that. But then I realized, looking at their name, that it sounded familiar. Turns out it was the person that scammed him. Mm. So I went back to this person, I said, hey, I'm interested in that trade, but if we do this trade, you're gonna have to send me what I want, plus what you owe my boyfriend. That's right, we weren't married at the time. No, we weren't even engaged. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. That was right around the time I started growing pubes. Okay. I was shocked when this person sent me what I wanted, what they owed Chris, and they said I could pick an additional item for the inconvenience. Mmm, now that's a win. I have no idea how this happened. I guess they really wanted the pop that I had up for trade. I don't know. But it actually all worked out. He sent me everything plus some more. That's not always going to happen and probably would never ever happen to anybody again. I can't believe that the guy actually sent the items that I was originally intended to get. It was actually kind of mind blowing, but these people are out there and you have to steer clear of them. We spend a lot of time combing through the Gasocast We Hunt Together group on Facebook to find the people that are breaking the rules, causing issues and all sorts of things to investigate and get to the bottom of what is happening in our group. And most of the time when we think somebody's up to no good, we're usually right. We have a really excellent tip for you, but check this out. We have partnered with Collector Zone to bring you an awesome 5,000 subscriber giveaway. They gave us a Captain Marvel Hot Toys Deluxe figure to give away to you guys. So make sure you tell all your friends about the Gasocast so that we can give one away. We also are gonna have another couple of items to give away to include this lava chop. So make sure you tell all your friends about the Gasocast, have them subscribe to us because once we hit 5K, we are going to be giving this away, the Captain Marvel deluxe figure away, and so much more. When you're trading pops with somebody, how can you trust it? You basically have to put your trust into somebody and say, hey, I'm gonna send this to you, but you have to send that to me. People will send an agreed upon amount to each other using PayPal goods and services. What this does is if you don't receive your item, you are guaranteed that if something does go south, you at least get the money back that is owed to you. Ah, so that's an extra layer of protection. Exactly. So say the pop is worth a hundred bucks. You goods and service, a hundred bucks to each other. That way you have their hundred bucks, they have your hundred bucks. And if one person doesn't send the trade, they can go to PayPal and say, hey, listen, I didn't get what I paid for. That's a brilliant move. Yeah, so they're, they're basically paying for the trade and you keep the receipt tracking number to prove that it got to the other person. Oh, okay. One very important thing that you must do when you're doing a trade is asking the person to take a photo of the item with their name and the date. That way you know they have the item and they're not taking a photo from Macari or eBay. And during this communication, make sure you ask for photos of the box, the figure, everything. That way you know if this thing is up to your standards. Because otherwise you could end up with a headless Herschel Funko Pop that was beat up, thrown to sea, and trampled over by some cattle. That happened once. It happened in 2016, can't you let it go? No. Make sure you do this because you might need marriage counseling. And one of the most important tips is make sure you get the tracking number because that's very, very important. And if you're the person who's sending the item out, send that tracking as soon as you possibly can. That way the person on the other side knows with confidence that the item is on the way. There have been times where someone has received a tracking number and gets the box in the mail and it's not at all what it was supposed to be. That's exactly why you want to use goods and services with PayPal because that way it'll cover 
your buttocks. I'm pretty sure we know somebody who got like a can of corn. I was, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's not. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's it, messed up. It's funny that they chose that. Right, but that they choose that. Yeah. It's not funny that it happened. Yeah, That's not why up. I'm laughing. Just man, I'd be so angry. Weird. Can you imagine you've been waiting for like a week? For like your next grail, and you get a can of corn. Like I mean, so pissed. That is the worst. And lastly, make sure if you're dealing with somebody who seems very shady, or they totally screwed you over, that you reach out to the admins and the mods of the group that you're in making the deal. This doesn't just go for Gaslcast. We hunt together. This goes for every Funko group that you're a part of. You want to make sure that you point the finger at the scammer out there so they don't scam anybody else. Have you been scammed before? Or do you have any tips that you can add to the tips that we just gave you? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.